Hello, this is Chris Menard. Occasionally when you import a text file or a CSV file into Excel, critical data is missing as an example. If you look at my column B, I've got cities, and column A has the state, but Georgia's only in there once and Florida's in there. So to fix it, you could autofill. That would work. That's not a problem. The problem is you may make a mistake like I just did and autofill too much. The other issue is the client that called me with this problem had 48,000 rows and they had product IDs that kept swapping. So that was a lot of autofilling to do. So here's how you fix this. The first thing you need to learn is if you highlight a range and then you type something, I don't care what you type, I'm going to put in Georgia Pacific. If you do control enter on the keyboard, it will fill it down every cell that's selected. So while it's still selected, I'm going to put in the zip code for Atlanta 30309, control enter. And now that zip code's in there. So whatever you type and do control enter will put in there. The other advantage of control enter is if you have a range and I want to auto sum the annual salaries, I can do the keyboard alt equal and then control enter. It leaves me in the same cell that I just did the formula. I'll do it again right below it. I'll go to the home tab and use the mouse this time. I'm going to do the max function. There's my range. So enter would move me down but control enter leaves me here. So there's a second reason to use control enter. So anyway, let's go fix this now. So here are the steps and I've got them written down below. You highlight your first state that you want all the way down to the last blank that you want filled in. On the keyboard, control G will pull up your go to box and don't worry if you don't have this stuff in here. Click the word special, select blanks, and hit OK. I'm going to press the escape key one time and do this again just to show you this. So you highlight the first one down. If you're a mouse person, that's why I got out of the other one. I'm on the home tab in the top left. Here's the editing group. I'm going to go to go to here. That's the same as control G. Click the word special again. Click blanks. Click OK. So, just the blanks are selected, but the active cell is A3. I want A3 to look exactly like A2, so equals A2. And you have to do control enter or this won't work. That's how I figured out how to do that. And then the last step is A3 is still equals A2. So, I'm going to highlight column A and copy it. Then right click and let's do a paste values. Click on A3, and now I can sort, filter, advanced filter, pivot table, whatever I want to. So that is how you fix data in Microsoft Excel. Thank you.